Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is the Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Shelley Glover. And I'm Jordan Bavineau. A new Honors College is under consideration. Planning courses, faculty, and budgets for the fall semester are a priority of President David Rankin. Students would need ACT scores of 26 or better to apply. They would eventually be housed in a new residence hall to be constructed this year. The Honors College is designed to enhance an academic quality and recruit top students. SAU remains the least expensive four-year institution in the state. Tuition is $86 less than Henderson State and $145 below Arkansas Tech. Chances are good that tuition will go up next year, possibly by 10%. According to the SAU Budget Committee, equity money from the state should amount to $1.9 million. The committee says that SAU will only receive $300. $29,000. These numbers could change in the next few months. Magnolia Fire Department is dispatched to a fire alarm at Miguel Library. It was manually set off this week when smoke made its way through the library's ventilation system. Firemen and physical plant workers determined the cause of the smoke to be from bearings that locked up on a piece of machinery in the boiler room. The machinery ran out of oil, causing the bearings to grind on smoke. After determining the problem, the physical plant staff turned the machinery off. The National Council for Accreditation of Teacher Education Team visits campus. During the visit, the Board of Examiners confirmed the continued integrity of SAU's training for educational professionals. Standards for program approvals included a number of professional associations, ranging from teachers of early childhood to counselors, librarians, and administrators. SAU received ongoing accreditation from the NCAT in 1999. Chi Alpha is sponsoring a cappuccino house. The seventh bean meets every Thursday at 8 p.m. SAU students can enjoy coffee drinks and live music. Chi Alpha leader Jeremy Bramley came up with the idea as a way for students to come together and have a sense of fellowship. The Chi Alpha house will be closed this summer for extensive remodeling, but will reopen in the fall as a full-time coffee house, giving students a place to hang out until 1 in the morning. Continuing Education sponsors an interactive workshop. There will be a two-day Mind Tools teaching and learning event held Friday, April 4th from 3 to 9 p.m. and Saturday, April 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The workshop will include demonstrations of web integrated lessons, sessions of PowerPoint, web page development, imaging, and several other demonstrative projects. Those interested should contact the Office of Continuing Education at 235 4005. That's 235 4005. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Jordan Babineau. And I'm Shelley Glover. With an SAU profile, I'm Amanda Weber. And I'm Corey Wages. Phi Mu Fraternity has been on the SAU campus since 1991, but was called Phi Delta Gamma. Since Phi Mu was founded in 1852, the word sorority did not exist. That's why Phi Mu is a fraternity. Phi Mu has grown from Wesleyan College in Georgia to across the country. Its philanthropies are Project Hope and the Children's Miracle Network, who they donate their time and effort into improving children's lives. They work hand in hand with Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock. Phi Mu raise money throughout the year to support the hospital. They make the children Easter cards, Valentine cards, Christmas cards, as well as going to visit them. So if you see FIMU sponsoring a fundraiser, help them and the children out at Arkansas Children's Hospital. With an SAU profile, I'm Amanda Weber. And I'm Corey Wages. SAU Sports, I'm Nick Davis. And I'm Timmy Iverson. The Mule Riders concluded their season with a loss on Saturday to the Bucks of Christian Brothers University. The Bucks breezed past the Mule Riders 102-81. The loss dropped the Mule Riders to 6-21 overall and 2-14 in conference play. The Riders were led in scoring by Mike Monroe with 19 points, while Brian Biley added 14 and Nick Davis 11. 
The Riderettes concluded their season with a loss to the Lady Bucks of Christian Brothers. Despite a career high 38 points by Stacy Stockton, the Riderettes fell 75 73 in overtime. The loss dropped the Riderettes to 8 and 18 for the season and 3 and 14 in conference play. Stockton finished her SAU career as the fifth highest all time scorer in school history. Senior Mia Bailey finished her career eighth all time in points. The women's softball team wins two games and loses one. SAU defeated West Alabama twice by scores of four to nothing. SAU gave up a sweep by allowing West Alabama to score four times in the final inning of the third game to salvage a five to four win. The Ryder Reds blasted UWA pitching for 11 hits as Crystal Pullen pitched a six hit shutout, walk three and fan six to run her record to three and zero. Oh. In the third game, SAU led four to nothing after five innings. Stevie Gray went six innings for the Riderettes, allowing five hits, two earned runs, walking three, and striking out three. Kim Martin came on in the seventh and gave up one hit, three runs with two earned, walked one, and fanned none. SAU Sports, I'm Tammy Iverson. And I'm Nick Davis. With commentary, I'm Joanna Eaton. Recently, I have noticed that some college students do not know how to act while watching a theatrical performance. They need to be reminded of theater etiquette. Let us begin with cell phones. You should always turn your cell phones and beepers off before a show begins. During a recent play, I heard a female voice answering her phone very loudly. All I could do is shake my head in disbelief. Surely this is a distraction for the audience, but I can't imagine how the actors must feel. Next, we have cursing while the performance is going on. Any play might have moments that make you want to jump out of your seat, but to yell profanities is out of the question. To even think that someone would laugh and taunt an actor during an emotional scene shows complete disrespect. Actors and directors work very hard in putting time and effort into a professional performance. The least we can do is show a little more respect and act our age. With commentary, I'm Joanna Eaton. With an SAU police log, I'm Joanna Eaton. And I'm Kyle Holloman. On February 19th, arrest on warrant. Justin Willis, an SAU student, was arrested on a warrant for theft by receiving, involving a stolen textbook case. On February 20th, breaking and entering, a student reported his vehicle was broken into and several items taken while parked in the Tally Hall East parking area. The case is under investigation. On February 21st, theft of property. A student reported the theft of a textbook from the Bruce Center cafeteria. A suspect was identified and arrest is pending. On February 22nd, breaking and entering. A student reported his vehicle was broken into and several items taken while parked in the northern section of the Grandpa Long parking area. The case is under investigation. On February 24th, tow report. A student's vehicle was towed from the Brinson Fine Arts parking area after repeatedly parking in a reserved parking space. No other incidents were reported this week. To appeal a university parking citation, the following process should be followed. Upon receiving the appeal form, the Office of Student Life will provide the date the appellant should appear at the appeals court. Ordinarily, a person will be required to appeal in the appeals court hearing to provide testimony. A person who fails to appear without giving notice will be required to pay the citations and will also lose any further right to appeal. Persons wishing to appeal a decision of the appropriate appeals committee may do so only to the Magnolia Municipal Court. To report campus crime or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU police log, I'm Kyle Holloman. And I'm Joanna Eaton. I'm Tabitha Taylor with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. The Foreman Public School District is now accepting applications for head boys basketball coach and assistant football coach for the 2003-2004 school year. Must meet Arkansas certification requirements and have certification in either math or science for grades 9 through 12. Contact Larry Lairmore, Superintendent, Foreman Public Schools, at 870-542-7225. First Step Incorporated of Fordyce is seeking certified teachers for the preschool department. 
applicants must have a valid Arkansas teacher's license and certification in early childhood special education is preferred. Consideration will be given to applicants willing to obtain certification. Contact Karen Bailey or Stephanie Abbott for more information at 870-352-7975. I'm Tabitha Taylor with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Charles Bostic. And I'm Mary Ligon. The City of Magnolia and Southern Arkansas University will sponsor the Mule Stock Music Fest this Saturday. The event takes place beside Over Street Hall. The event includes a wide spectrum of music. Scheduled for the event are rock band Fat Albert, an acoustic set performed by Stephen Jackson, contemporary Christian group Secret Place, and country group The Dixie Cadillacs. Closing the event will be SAU student talent. Admission is free and open to the public. The Miss SAU pageant will be held this Thursday at 7 p.m. It will take place in Harton Theater. There are seven contestants entered in the event. Former Miss SAU Crystal Easterling will be attending this event to pass along her crown. Miss SAU is a preliminary scholarship program. FAMU is serving as a sponsor for this year's pageant. The SAU Wind Ensemble and Concert Band will be performing their first spring concert next Tuesday. The evening will showcase music of many composers from different historical time periods. It will begin with the concert band and end with the wind ensemble. Pieces performed by the wind ensemble include the National Emblem March, Alleluia Laudamus Te, Variants on a Moravian Hymn, on a hymn song of John Philip Sousa, and contemporary piece Godzilla Eats Las Vegas. The concert will begin at 7.30 in Harton Theater. Theater students are involved in a special event. Auditions for 10-minute plays will be held next Monday. That will take place at 6 p.m. in Overstreet 120, The Green Room. There is a sign-up sheet located on the theater bulletin board in Overstreet 225. Everyone is welcome to audition. Eager directors need many actors to perform. Everyone is invited to introduce themselves, to read some lines, and to have some fun. To learn more about the 10-minute plays, contact theater professor Christian Larson. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience experiences are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm Shannon Watson. On Monday, the SGA Traffic Appeals Court meets at 4 p.m. in the Bruce Center. Resident assistant applications are also available to pick up. On Tuesday, Missionary Baptist Fellowship teams meet at 7.30. Wednesday, the Panalytic Council meets at noon and 5 o'clock. There is an Interfraternity Council meeting at 6 o'clock and a Student Government Association meeting at 6.30. Also, MBSF Bible Study is at 7 o'clock. On Thursday, the Miss SAU pageant will be held at 7 p.m. in Harton Theater. MBSF Prayer and Praise is at 7.30. Friday, SAU hosts the Southwest Arkansas Regional Science Fair from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Spring break takes place at SAU soon. On Monday, March 24th, classes will resume at 8 a.m. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.